What's up, y'all? Got a family feed, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into DDG versus Joe Button breaking silence about breakup. Let's get it. What I've done, um, when it Hold comes. On. Oh my God! Why is that so far? What you want to get into? Okay. I feel like I gotta talk about what I what I came to talk about, and what is that? We just gonna start off. Yeah, I know. I don't lose on the internet. I don't know why people keep trying me. Magley, by him, okay. I don't lose on the internet. I don't know why people keep trying me. I don't know what it is, but I feel like people getting a, a little too comfortable with disrespecting me. And y'all don't do y'all research before y'all look me up. Yeah. You know, people got kids, nephews, nieces. They all know me. Start asking your kids about me. I don't appeal to 45-year-olds. I'm not too, too... DDG talking his shit, ain't he? ...to entertain 45-year-olds that I'm richer than. But we're going to slow roll into it. We're going to get into it. We're going to go too crazy. So I'm going to give y'all a backstory. So I've announced that me and Hallie have split, right? Yep. It's life. It happens, right? She's yep. still family. I love her to death no matter what. The Everything's life. still good. Never know what the future holds. Anything else past that statement is nobody else's business. I see people keep yeah, creating, absolutely. they keep creating uh, stories, timelines. No one was wrong in the situation. Nobody came out and said he did this, she did that. No, me and Hallie, our family, we good. We just taking a little break. Don't know what can happen in the future. That's none of y'all business past that statement, but y'all keep going. Let me say so something not, about that too. Yeah, go ahead. People be feeling like they know what's going on in like your life and what you got going on can you film it or just because they pin pieces together but you don't really know like you don't know the full effect and you don't know what people really going through you don't know what's really happening you don't know what people working on so stop coming up with all these opinions and acting like you know son and all them little stuff you be seeing about you know what's going on it be false like people do not be knowing what's going on i'll be looking at it like y'all it's so wrong like <laughs> just relax yourself and let people work through their stuff and it'll be better for y'all. Yeah, I feel like a lot. I don't know why they're acting like comments isn't a thing. I could understand why he frustrated, though, because people come at him a lot. But, you know, comments come along with the with the game. That's what this whole thing is about. So I just don't, under, I don't understand that. But, you know, here we are. A lot of people just... just two, two, two in the chat. I just go through my comments my mentions and dms and i just see like people that have no idea what's going on like you don't know anything i don't know anything about your life you don't know nothing about mine you know just a tiny bit because i've allowed you to but you don't know what's really going on on a daily basis when the camera come off so um when public figures give you a statement take the statement go with the statement and mind your damn business I feel like people are more passionate about my situation than they are with their own parents. And we don't know you. We're not related to you. She does not know you. Okay? I'm her family. She does, She's not your family. That's what people don't understand. Like, yeah, they a whole family. Like, yeah, I feel like fans need to be like, fans need to be fans again, bro. Like, I feel like all this technology and the internet is just making people just get too comfortable. Like, it just be too crazy how people be talking, but all the girls, I love y'all to death. Y'all, I don't even disagree with um <clears throat> how some people be talking. Some comments I hear is just out of control, bro. Um, but you know, I just feel like if he know, you know, I used to always say, why would you care about how they feel? You got money. And child, I started getting money, and I'm like, <laughs> but I don't care about what people say for the most part. If I feel like going back and forth with you, well, at that point, you done fucked up. But outside of that, man, I'm not going to look for comments and things like that. However, you know, if the shade room comes out every day, um, Hollywood Unlocked, you know what I'm saying? They come out every day, so... That might be a bit annoying. Hate me, love me every other month. So, you know what? I ain't even tripping. You feel me? Like, if y'all want to hate I'm on glad me, they can blame the blogs these days and not the reactors. 
cool. I still love y'all. Y'all look beautiful. Um, and I try my best not to go back and forth with any females, especially in this day and age of my life, because I got so much respect for women that I can't even really get on. Except for the, there's this girl on TikTok that was talking crazy. I had to say her line it was chewed. But you know, I ain't, I ain't, I had to, cause she was, she had a fro in her line and was chewed, and she was just talking crazy. <laughs> but y'all women, y'all beautiful, y'all super powerful, um, and I have no nothing bad to say about y'all whatsoever. But Joe Budden, we gotta <laughs> get into that, man. We gotta get into that Joe Budden right there, man. We gotta get into that. You know, you know how this works, Joe Budden. So I don't want to cuss too much, but and say what I really want to say. But you don't really know who you talking to for real. I ain't gonna cap y'all down. I don't even know what Joe Button said. I just seen that this just came out. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna react to it. But before we do that, let me go to the shade room and see what the hell Joe Button said. Uh huh. Ah, no button. No. Yeah. Myself for quite some time. Who the is DDG <laughs> and and why am I supposed to care about his thoughts on anything oh, uh, he's a rapper yeah I, I, I'm happy that they have broken up so I don't get to keep seeing this name attached to this girl's name when I don't know him for nothing as a standalone and damn. for me it's important to know people based off their damn their own name and merit and what they have done I don't even mm -hmm. know enough about her. Like, I'm not her demo. Right. I'm not her demo either. But every time I see his name, it's attached to hers and it's typically in some type of clout chaser fashion. So that makes me look at him a different way. And hopefully I get to look at him a lot less now that they've broken. Well, she's up. extremely. Damn. <laughs> Yo, I'm not. <laughs> top pro she's top profile. There so. To my distinguished panel is a question i've been asking myself for quite man that's crazy okay okay now let's go back to ddg and i don't even come on here on no gangster shit. like i ain't coming on here to say i'm gonna whoop your ass i will whoop your ass don't get it fucked up i'll beat the shit out of you but i ain't coming on here to say that you feel me yeah. i'm coming on here to say you talking to a real social media legend you talking to a real like somebody that Put their family in position to win. Somebody that motivated your kids, nigga. Motivated your, your family, your nieces and nephews. Somebody that entertained them for years. Somebody that really put a stamp on some shit and music. Do y'all think DDG is a legend on this uh, social media thing? I ain't gonna cap you down. <clears throat> I don't disagree. Um, I think he has paved the way for a lot of others. You know, some people started before him, but um, he was right on time, if you ask me. And him putting his entire family on is absolutely correct, and that's what I commend about him the most. Music, I got way more accolades than you in music, and I'm doing way better than you in life in general. And I'm 26, and you're 44. 44, I looked up, I ain't gonna Man. lie. I ain't gonna 44. lie. 44. I didn't even know who I didn't know who Joe Budden was until he sat next to academics. Swear to God. I ain't know who Swear Joe God. Budden was till the Migos down there, you know what they did to him. Everybody know what the Migos did. That's the most I know about Joe Budden. And then he I, when I looked him up today, I ain't know he made the pump or something. <laughs> like, oh, come on, man. That's what you hey, I tell lie. your your I people was in hey, the bro, car. I'm not everybody was everybody was vibing and pump it up. Nigga, no, no, I no. Pump it. no, no, no. I don't know what label he was signed to. They had that bitch on the radio, but you know where they had it at the most? Where? The trampoline parks. That's the only place I know you from. Because <laughs> I used to go to the trampoline parks and they used to play Pump It Up. No, Nigga, no, you, no. 
Palmer. Palm, 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 it up. Oh my God. And he got, he got one, a cheerleader song. Cheerleader he song. He made a cheerleader <laughs> song. Pump, like, come on, pump, like, pump it up. Like, <laughs> you, you be dancing to that pump, motherfucker pump with what? Pump it up. He went gold in 20 years. 20 years? It took you 20 years to go gold? Wait, what that mean? To get a gold, to get a gold record, you got to sell 500,000 copies, right? Mind you, just to put it in perspective, I got three gold records and one double platinum. Mm. And I ain't so how much is the how much you had to get for the double platinum? I'm nowhere. This man is old enough to be my uncle, my pops. Like this is an old man. OG. He OG. He's a, he's a he ain't OG to me. Nigga, you ain't getting no respect for me. Hello. But he like an old dude. You feel me? Yeah. So it's like when I see shit like that, I'm like, damn. I ain't gonna lie. I looked up his accolades and it made me feel way better about myself. <laughs> a lot of people be on me crazy, but these ain't even got plaques like this man has one plaque in his home mm. one plaque that's the only one he got the only one he got he been waiting at the mailbox for 20 years <laughs> Yo, i ain't gonna lie i'm thinking i about ain't gonna I lie he up. probably didn't even care about going gold for real i mean he stopped doing mus music forever ago like literally his song his most popular song his first song on his little music channel it was the Pump It Up song. I'm like, that's the only thing you ever made? Like, right. And then you got literally. Press about the Migo. Like, <laughs> I really don't career? know what he do past that besides have a uh, successful podcast. And that's cool and all. You know, I'm fresh in the game. Uh, that came out 14 years ago. He looked totally different. But it got 31 million views. Which other songs got like 200 billion not 200 billion, but well, yeah, it's some songs out nowadays that's like 200 billion views. So I don't. Game, and I'm glad you mentioned my name because I'm about to. Uh, you don't know who you're messing with. I'm Mr. Monetizer, okay? I'm going to find out everything about you. I can really dig deep. I don't know if I should do that. Nah. And I don't know if I should do that. I could really dig deep. But Joe Button. And Joe Button ain't going to give a damn about what he's talking about. I got. I got. I feel like I do need to dig deep. I need. I need to dig a little deeper. He was. He was talking a little spicy though. I ain't gonna lie. I don't know what's wrong him. with him. The people around him all laughing like it's funny. They know they fucking kids watched you, and and they be hearing every kids tell you about them, and you know that they like what? All them old people on that podcast know <laughs> who I am, and no disrespect to the woman, but you a part of the group. All y'all old folks know who I am. And if you it's don't like, know, oh y'all old people know who I am. Do your professional fucking job and do your research, okay? Look it up. He's trolling, DDG. Before you speak, because you don't know. You don't well, know who you talking to. Why did he decide to even talk about you then? If you because it's popping. Because everyone talks about it. Yeah, you everyone, kept hearing your name. everybody you want. Me? Yes, he knows. And nigga, you all it takes is a, a, a few scrolls, and you'll know who I am. Quit acting like y'all know who I am. Y'all know y'all see him. Go on Instagram, go on TikTok, go on YouTube. You scroll on your phone, you're going to see him. You're going to see at least one clip of him, his son, or his nephew. You know that. You feel me? Right. That, that's how it is with him. Like, I feel it, like it's just people viral. Don't understand, like, and I, I'm very, very humble, believe it or not. When it comes, like, I, I got nice stuff. I buy nice things all the time. I'm extremely humble, okay, when it comes to who I am. But don't get it misconstrued. I know I'm that nigga. Construed. Like, I know what I bring to the table. I know what I've been doing. But like a lot of people forget what I've done um, when it comes to social media, pioneering, <laughs> you know, transitioning from music. I mean, from from social media to music. The community. Um, the community I built. Like the numbers I've been pulling in since I was 19, I'm 20, about to be 27 now. Um, we in a day and an age where we starting to forget who was around us or who was entertaining us when we was younger. And that's cool. I feel like it's a lot of people coming out right now and it's easy to get lost in the sauce and you forget who you really messing with. but. I'm very humble, believe it or not. Not even messing with it. I, I do believe a lot of people forgetting who they are. A lot of people forgetting to be people right now.
I'm just glad I am who I am and the way I am. You know what I'm saying? God is great. But I still know I'm that nigga. I know what I done done in the game. Mm -hmm. I know I done went double platinum. I know I done been on multiple tours. I know I've been around the world. I know I done made millions and millions and millions of dollars. I know all of this. It's just like I don't show off my accolades enough. And I feel like today was a wake up call for me because it's niggas really out here disrespecting me. And I feel like, I don't know, I feel like I'm, I'm too humble. I feel like it's bad to say this, but what is it, Joe Button? Joe Biden. Joe, Joe Biden, uh, whatever. Him, he a troll. Because every time I always see him, he always talking shit, but it don't even be called. He, he be trolling. All for like, I feel like at his age and with his podcast and with the people he got on there, they look like the, uh, the type of group that have tried to teach you something right. and, and say something good to actually affect you and make you feel good and make you take it, you know, take it with you. Y'all teaching you shit ain't making no damn money these days. <laughs> <laughs> it's not happening. Make you like, you know, learn something. But that's not the type of nigga he is. He just automatically came at your head like a young YN, you feel me? That's what I'm saying. He, he going with the trend. Like he, I want to still be popping. I need to stay relevant type of nigga. Like I need to that's do something to keep my shit rocking. Like I need to get this viral clip for this podcast. That type of dude he gave me when he did that. Them type of people. And he too old for that. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> you can get your numbers by teaching the younger generation how to be better. Now, you know all the young niggas, that's how they act. That's how they would have been talking about somebody. Why would you? Why would you even show him that? Like that don't even make sense. I don't know what's that. He too old for that. I'm not even gonna lie. Way too. Oh people, my god. He too old for that. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. You can get your numbers by I ain't even teaching that. the younger generation how to be better. Not you know all the young niggas. That's how they act. That's how they would have been talking about somebody. Why would you? Why would you even show him that? Like that don't even make. Because that's how the young niggas is getting money, and that's how the old niggas got to get money too. Why are why are they not understanding that? I'm the, they, I mean the young niggas. What's going on with y'all? <laughs> Since I don't know what's that. He too old for that. I'm not even gonna lie. Way too old. You know his son like my age. For real? Yeah. He got a kid my age. I guarantee you, he probably watched you before. Of course, he don't take care of his kid though. Probably rock with his music and everything. Probably was like, why yeah, but he a deadbeat dad. dad. That's why I don't really have to for Joe Button. I did a little <laughs> research. You a deadbeat dad. I know he ain't. He a deadbeat dad. Bro. Wait, wait, wait. Yes, he's a deadbeat dad. And he was talking on your situation with your baby mama? Yes, why? I'm the, what the? I'm the best he dad a in the world. He's a deadbeat. I have no respect wait, for deadbeats, wait, wait. bro. Like, it's just like, I just don't have respect for deadbeats. I can't be and nice you could, to you could, you, could, you could tell that he a deadbeat just by how he talk. Like, bro, you act like he you do you, give a you, damn. You try to act like you're 20. You probably be, you the type of old nigga that'd be DMing 18 year olds and shit. Little weird ass nigga. Yeah, Definitely. You one of them, he he one of them little old niggas. He's Definitely. the type where the age don't matter type nigga. You feel me? Like, right. that's what I he just said, Vaughn. Younger than me. Like, you feel me? Like, you got, it's a certain, <laughs> like, you, I, it's only three years for me or three or four years. Like, I'm not, I'm not going under that. You feel me? He probably go 10, 20. You feel nah, me? he done yeah, made his account sure. private. If he acting like that, bro. He probably a little weird Damn. ass nigga. Niggas gonna he get research on you. Like something gonna if, happen to you. He better ah. not be no deadbeat though. Like he's man. a deadbeat. I looked it we up. We all know bro. we gotta take care of our kids. His, his son made a whole song about him. He a rapper. His son is a rapper. And hey, he, bro. He ain't, bro I ain't seen him put it on. I ain't seen him put his son on his podcast once. I ain't see him put his son in position. He got a platform. He wanted to give it to his own blood, his own baby. We can't show you respect how to make a YouTube channel, dog. Can't respect him. As a matter of fact, Joe Budden's son, come on the podcast, bro. And I might throw you a little bag or something. I know your daddy ain't giving you no shit. money. Your daddy ain't supporting you in no way, shape, or form. That would not make me want to come on that podcast. <laughs> I know the child support is over now. It's like, nigga, come on here, man. I'll throw you a little bit of money. Show you how to make a little YouTube channel if you don't know how to get we'll your show you how to make some money. rocking, TikTok rocking. We can show you how to do it. You feel me? I'm a teacher. I'm a natural teacher and I'm only 26 and I like to motivate people every single day. My audience, which is watching this right now, y'all know that like my whole thing is just motivating the youth and, and teaching people how to win and all types of stuff. We got to stay away from people like Joe Budden. Don't be Joe Budden, y'all. Watch this, y'all. 
Like, really watch this, though. This how you know a real nigga and not a real nigga. You see how Joe Budden act? Hey, bro, um, I want to shout out somebody. His name Baby Smooth. He a hard rapper. You know who he is? Mm-mm, but we can check him out. See? That's <laughs> a real nigga. I know Baby Smooth is, by the way. I was just giving you an example. But, but he, Joe Budden, he would have dissed the nigga for no real. Like, why? What I do to you? That's what like, I'm saying. Think about people like Joe Button, and I know this is true and a fact. He's a lonely man. Definitely. That man can't leave the house. That man can't go to a club. He got to stay in there with his little girl or whoever he fucking with. He got to stay with her, and he got to just stay in the crib and 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 smoke hookah. He type of nigga smoke hookah, little freaky ass nigga. He probably smoke hookah in the crib. <laughs> he probably smoke cigars. Put man. on booty shorts and, and sit in the crib. <laughs> And the only re- the only reason why I was skeptical about doing this is because I don't I have a lot of homosexual fans and bisexual fans, and I never want y'all to ever feel like I'm ever homophobic or ever like you know against y'all. And I got I have LGBTQ. That's how you say it, LGBTQ. It's a tongue twister. L- LGBTQ plus uh, friends. Like I have nothing against. Yeah, whatsoever, but I didn't know this. I looked this up today. Joe Button is bisexual. I swear, I looked it up. That's hey, why I'm like, Joe Button said that on the podcast one time, and I think he was joking, but <laughs> here we are. That's why I'm like, bro, I don't I even want to talk get about you no more, folks. Hey, that's yeah. why we lie. <laughs> I can't talk I don't, about you. Hey, you I, get this, I get this to the, to the uh, your, your community, uh, Joe Button. Y'all get folks gone. <laughs> I don't want no smoke. So past his podcast. He's so stupid. Podcast, like I don't really want to dig deep or talk about you uh jumping on your baby mama's stomach to get rid of the wait, fetus. Wait, wait. Like I ain't I ain't trying to I'm, I'm not talking about no, that. No, no, no. No, this is just public. This record. can't be No no no. This really this he was no no, Bro, no. listen to I'm me. not gonna lie. Listen to me. Listen to I hope you watch, to, this. watch this. Listen watch to me. I no, know no, you don't this is the you probably want to say something correct. I don't know this motherfucker. Like you be dissing nigga when you don't know him. But look, listen to me. Look at me like an angel. You you need to stop. You need to sit down. You need to pray, my dad. You you is a monster. What's wrong with him? He just like why? Wait, wait, wait. You he did what? Say that one more time. No, it was. Am I correct? That's what the clip. Yeah, there was a clip. Allegedly, as long as you real. throw that a word in there, it's good. It better Allegedly, be you better throw that legend in there. This man was playing pump it up and jumping on his baby mama's stomach. To get rid of the baby. Uh, that, that, what? That is like crazy. If, if that's real, bro. That's crazy. Okay, that you didn't get, register for me. That's, funny, that's what I'm saying. I'm not lying, not... though. Like, I love my baby daughter so much. And every night when I was taking care of my baby mom, I used to lay my head on the stomach, listen to my daughter, talk to her like she was already here. I couldn't imagine doing that. Like, I couldn't imagine even seeing that. Like, bro, I'm not, I can't, I can't talk about that. Not while I'm drinking the liquor. Allegedly, like y'all. Allegedly, the you only joke, not. the only joke in that sentence was the pump it up part, but he definitely was um, allegedly jumping on um, the mother of his child's unborn baby, jumping on his stomach to get rid of the baby. This is this is a this is a terrible. Right, let's, person. I don't even want to talk about it no more. It's just I just don't have respect for you, Joe Button. I never did, but I would have never just got online and dissed you because I don't know you. Just like you don't know me. I only know you from the radio when my mama ain't had no CD to put in the car. That's <laughs> the only place I know you from. I pump, never pump, listen pump to it that up. song. I only know you from jumping on the trampoline and they play Pump It Up. Dang, and I go to the little jump jumpy houses and shit. It. That's the only thing I knew. And I was surprised. I look, I that nigga's still going in. <laughs> Finally, you may pump it up today. I didn't even know that was him. I swear on my life. I didn't know either. I you might be was. an industry plant, though, because, like, that <laughs> song is, like, that's your main song, nigga? Like, is you not a plant? Like, what, what you, else you going to do? Like, I got to listen to the rest of his music. I got to yeah. see who he really is. Man, y'all ain't missing out on nothing. But I'm done with this video because DDG just going to keep going in. <laughs> y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. He ain't wrong for defending himself. And at this point, uh, Joe Button ain't wrong for trolling. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.